Hi, it's Orion Field, and welcome to another episode of Cooking with Orion. Tonight we're going to make a traditional surf and turf with some filet mignon, main lobster, and as a side, we're going to make some purple mashed potatoes. Thanks for watching. Here we go. To start off, we're going to start our potatoes because that's going to take the longest to cook. Um, what I'm doing right now is I'm, I have the water already boiling. Uh, I don't really have enough pans for this, so I have to use this. Uh, I'm going to throw in a bay leaf, and I already halved and uh, peeled all of these beautiful Peruvian purple potatoes. Try not to splash yourself, the water is very hot. We're going to boil those up. salt. And let that sit, covered. Next what we're going to do is we're going to turn on the heat for our lobster. We already have the water in there, but we don't have that on yet, so let's turn that on to high get that boiling. Alright, uh, so we'll, here are our steaks that we're going to be using to make uh, our surf and turf, which we're going to cook on the stove in a grill. First thing I'm going to do is an old trick I learned back in Chicago when my dad used to own his steak restaurant. It's called plugging. So what you do is you take your knife and you make a hole like that, a couple of them, in the steak. And you take a piece of garlic, slice it. Stuff in the hole. Really simple. And I'm going to do this with all four steaks. Interesting side effect that we've noticed from boiling these purple potatoes that it has turned the water blue, which I think is quite cool. So now we're grilling our steaks on the stove. You should take about seven minutes, about three minutes per side on medium-high heat. Usually I would like to do this on a barbecue, but being in the middle of Syracuse, we don't really have that option, especially also since it's winter. So we're just going to have to punt on this one. And now we're ready to put our lobster in. As you can see, he's still alive, barely, but put him in head first. and make sure he actually gets in there. And you let him stay in there for seven to nine minutes. And as you can see, these steaks are almost ready to flip. Cooking up really nicely. We're gonna do these a nice medium rare. I'm cooking them on this non-stick panini grill because it's the best I have. And they're, they're cooking up really nicely. Um, our butter is melting for our sauce, and we're also going to reserve some of that butter as well for our mashed potatoes. Make them nice and buttery. Two sticks in there. Alright, uh, we're putting the final touches on our mashed potatoes. We've strained them, strained the water out of them, and now we just added some butter to them. As you can see, they're getting nice and fluffy, and they are still purple. And you should have seen that water. That water was blue.